You already know it's another Hall Outdoors exclusive here with my boy Tony Tone. What you just pick up? So I got the Otter Resort. Um, it's a six to eight man hub. I think it's been out of stock for a year. So luckily, yeah. uh, one of my buddies, TK, hit me up and he's like, "Hey, Shields has this in stock. There's like ten left." So me and Harry were up there the same day, got it right away, got it for a discount too. So yep. um, looking forward to it. We're using it for ice camping. That's all strictly ice camping mostly. Yep. So. Yep. Hey, but let them know first initial yeah. thoughts right out the box. What'd you all say? Right. So I would say right out of the box, it's pretty heavy. Not yep. gonna lie. It's a, it is a big hub though. Yep. Um, like I said, it's meant for camping, so we don't usually come out with the truck, drive out there, so we'll be good. So it's not that bad, but this one's insulated. I had a non-insulated one, and it was like negative 20 degrees up north one time, and it was cold, man. So that was the last straw for me to get another one. So out the box, it comes straight like in the bag like this. Looks like it's inside out right away. Otter Resort. Oh, has a little clam type of a clamp here to hold it in. So we'll see how long that holds up for. My worry would be like this little point start eating up this strap, but we'll see. Oh yeah, man. We've been trying to grab one of these big hubs, like Tony said, for like over a year, man. They've been sold out everywhere. We've been looking at the Otter Monster Lodge as well. But hey, just so y'all know, we not sponsored by none of these companies, but hey, if you Otter, if y'all want to sponsor us, hey, we'll definitely love you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see if he able to put this up. If one person can put this hub up, especially out in the cold, you like. Last thing you want to do is break one of them rods. Like this one looks like it's the middle one. I think it's oh. like any other hub. Once you're yeah, gonna get used yeah. to it, to figure out which one's pop off. But I think these are easy to pop out. And now all the sides first. Yo, he already got the top one. Yeah, go inside. I ain't gonna lie, I like that color, that gray and that blue. I'm so used to seeing that red because I've been using <laughs> that Eskimo and stuff. Well, ain't nothing new for Tony because, you know, he's been rocking with that clam for a minute. But not the material on this, though, man, for real. Sturdy, heavy duty. Let's say Otter Tech. Thermal Tech. Put on flaps. One thing I like water too is they got these little um, rings so you can put your anchor, anchor down. Yeah. yeah. So not only that, you have to use the corner. Mm. See what they got? They got the little. So they have to strap the strap, yeah, the strap for the ice anchor is nice too, but they got like a nice little clip that clips on there. I'll roll it. Then you got these little to pull out each side. And you already know on each door you got your little Velcro to hold the door back. Oh yeah, this more spacious in here. You already know. Tall, pretty tall in the yeah, the one middle. thing I like, I didn't notice, is the windows are all Yeah, shady. yeah, yep. So you so that got way that you window. Can see all the people yeah, when they so kind of sneak up on your spot. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Hey, exactly. You can look. You could be sitting here and still just look right out the window like, yo, what's well, going on? The whole thing, too, this I didn't have is you can open the windows. Yep. So all the windows are open. You can open the windows. Yep. Um, 
That way you can throw your fish outside, but usually I don't do that so people don't know you catch your fish. Tip, tip for you guys, don't put your fish outside. <laughs> <laughs> or hey, I heard some instances people be throwing their fish outside, they come out and they ain't not there no exactly. more. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that look I think this is really good. I think you could, I think you can get away with three cots in here. Oh yeah, bro. Hey, we definitely no. Get you some can, good I think you can get away with three cots. Yeah, I'm gonna sure. go inside and grab my cot. And yeah. Set it up and see what. See what it looks yeah. Like. So y'all let y'all see what it's looking like. They got the net up here. Put your jacket. You know, stow away some stuff. You got a pocket. One, two, three, four. You got four pockets. Oh, it's pretty tight. From outside, it looks like it's sagging. Yeah, I think it's the design. Yeah. <clears throat> Got your air vents on each side. One, two. If you want, you can open all the windows. All the air vents are there too. Yep. There's rod holders on the side too. So that was a good. Yeah. Plus. What? Two, four, six, eight, <laughs> ten, twelve. There's eight. Two, four, six, eight. There's eight. There's two ports for uh, propane. Oh yeah. So there's one on this side, one on this side, I know this. That's what I'm saying. That's a good design, though, by them. Because I'm telling you, man, you have to try to throw it underneath. But like, uh. Yeah. Get y'all a little outside view. Well, yeah, so they got, that's why I was saying they got them cargo nets. But see, hey, Tony, you know, he always come up with some stuff. Got some hangers and stuff to hang up. The jackets and stuff. Like it's bending down a little bit. That's a weird one, but. Wait, that rod. Yeah. Clam, if you're watching this, this looks a little weird. Saying. You mean otter? Or otter, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> otter. Yeah, I switched from clam to otter, man. That's what I get. Might be just a uh, part of it. That hey, looks but, a weird. But that insulation, though, for real, look A1, though. Dick. As long as the poles hold, it doesn't really matter, but it looks like it could yeah. lift up like this a little bit more. Yep. So, I got the contact otter and see if this is normal. Maybe they'll send a new pole. Maybe it is normal. It's not that big of a deal, like I said. A little drip, but you know, yep. as time goes, it could just drip like this and uh, there goes that rod, right? Yep. All right, Tony got that cot in the corner. You can fit another one right here, another one over Two here. Two for sure. One. Three to be yep. snug, but you yep. can get by with it. Other than that, it's a good tent, I think. Only th downside is, you guys look at this pole, it bends down like an S. If you take a look at this one, it's kind of like that. Not too bad, but if you look at all the other poles, they're all straight. And they hold up the yeah, tent. It's so tight. If you watch me, I push up. It's a lot of support that's missing. So we'll hit up shields first, see what they want to do about it. And then hit um, Otter up and see what they want to do about it. Another thing is loose little threads like this. Not a big deal. You can kind of cut them and see them, but... You know, obviously when you're spending 600 bucks on a tent, uh, expectation is to receive a $600 tent. Yep. Um, other than that, it looks pretty good. Uh, my buddy has the lodge and he felt really warm and that's why I pulled the trigger on this. And honestly, this is probably the biggest one in the market that you can get. It's like 96 square feet. So nice. as you can see. 101. The 101? Yeah, 101. Oh, it's 101, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then that monster lodge is like 112. Yeah. Monster Lodge is also $300, so it wasn't worth it for me. And yeah, also, I want to be able like... to go by myself, so a Monster yeah. Lodge would be way too big. Um, but this, <laughs> obviously, I could still go by myself with plenty of room. You know, set up my cot, fishing area, this. Oh, yeah. We definitely going to get it in. Hey, we probably going to grab either another one of these or the Monster Lodge, depending on what they got in stock. But all outdoors, we about to be out there camping this winter. Was it 2021, 2022 ice yeah. fishing season? Hopefully we get some ice early. It's kind of warm still. Yep. Hey, what is it? It's about to be November. I like the construction it is. I like the color. It's definitely going to be out on the ice a lot this winter. Yeah, as y'all can see, look. It's draping down. You can see it's very noticeable. 
Boy, you get some wind on there. You about to be. Or even snow. Like if yep. we're camping out. The big problem is, like I said, is, you know, we're camping out on the ice. And when we camp out, we're out there Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, right? Right, Friday, Saturday night. Yep. And if you get some snow or just a little wind, you know, that's a little. It's going to be pushing down on there. Yeah. I mean, you can tell. Right. Just, look at that. It just caves in right there. Um, yep. But you would call Shields. Uh, the first associate uh, had some difficulties, let's just say. It would be nice. <laughs> uh, but the manager squared it all out. He said, bring it in. Uh, they'll take care of it. Uh, free at cost. They have a couple other ones at different locations, so they're going to ship one over to replace it. So, good job, Shields. Yes, sir. So, y'all see the review we do on the next one. Hopefully, that one is A1 out the box. One week later. One week later. Uh, so, you already know round two. Y'all see Otter Vortex Resort. It's Hopefully, it's the, the last pack. round two. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to put that clip. Y'all going to see we're going to do a review on this one. And I'm going to put that little couple clips from the last little review we did on the other shelter. Long story short, it was defective out of the box. The poles are all bent. Uh, Shields gave me a little run around, but ended up uh, sending me a new one. So let's hopefully uh, looks good. All right, so we're going to get this box open and get it popped up for y'all. Y'all can see we got this shelter all popped up, the Outer Vortex Resort. What do you think about this one, bro? It's a lot better. Y'all can see they got that insulation in here. Got a couple nets on couple top. Couple pockets, yep. Net. This, is, this is game changer. Put the jacket and gloves up here. That's <laughs> your gloves down on your chair and then you, next thing you know they're all wet you got two nets got a couple windows you got some the windows high and then you got actually the low windows so you can be sitting in your chair look out like oh you know if you got some tip ups or if people trying to pull up on you like oh who's that and the windows you can pockets, open them up too pockets there's like four of them Open the window, put your fish outside. Yep. See, so yeah, this this shelter way better. The other one we had these beams, it was like hanging down, like drooping. Let me get a shot of that outside for y'all. I see there for. Ice anchors. We got a couple down here for the ice anchors. Top. Yeah, it's way better. The other one, boy, was sagging. Sagging like a dude that just came out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I like this gray color, that gray and blue. They got so many straps, this thing ain't going nowhere. That's what I'm saying. Them tie downs, gonna be good. You got the ones here, you got like down here, and then you also got this strap, ice lock. That way, you know, when we're camping, 30 mile per hour winds come in, we don't fly away. Yep. Oh yeah, this about to get some good, good little camping going. We gonna grab like another one. Either that, Mosselage or Eskimo, I don't know what, whatever's on the market at the time. Cause you know, a lot of these like sold out everywhere. You know how to tear down, tear it up. Yeah, instruction manual. So y'all anchor bag, you get 12 anchors. You got a little name plate. Oh, that's there. No there for the so, hey, we good to go. Flag and light. Yeah, you get the flag and light. Safety at night. It sounds a little stupid, I know, right? But yeah. realistically, there's some crazy people at night, man. Getting drunk last, was it two years ago, last year? Someone on Chisago, a kid got, the family, their tent got hit by someone on a snowmobile at night. Yeah, it's crazy. So, you never know. So, whatever light you can put outside helps. Hey, but y'all seen it here. Haul Outdoors, y'all yep. Tony Tone. Hey, we about to be out there. Heavy Soda issue. Man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.